By the end of this tutorial, you will understand how to use intelligence agents in Oaks, which will make your class more personal for online users. Personal experiences make students feel like you care. So I'm going to create a news item with a personal touch. If my headline includes a curly bracket, the word first name with a capital F and a curly bracket, I can give them any content I want here. I publish and that student's first name will pop in. Right now it's using mine. If I go to class communication and impersonate fake McKinley, one of my other students, when we go to the course home page, it says welcome to class fake, which you know tickles me to no end. This is a great way to use what's called intelligence agents in Oaks. Another way of using intelligence agents in Oaks is done through management. You go to management, edit course, and you scroll down until you see communication intelligence agents. So I've got two set up and I'm gonna show you what this looks like. So I'm gonna hit edit. So what I've done is I've created an agent. This one's called finished a checklist and I make it visible to all users in the class list and I release conditions here where all conditions must be met in order for this intelligent agent to work. So this takes action every time the agent is evaluated and the agent's criteria are satisfied for a user. So when a student in my class finishes this specific checklist, an email is sent to tell them that the criteria was satisfied. Now it's important to spell this exactly how it is. So it's the curly bracket initiating user with the I and the U capitalized. I like to CC myself so I can see what's going out there. And the subject is curly bracket, initiating user first name, nice work on that checklist. Then dear, same thing, initiating user first name, notice these have to be capitalized. And then I give them a little note, kudos to you, and plain text. I'm not using a schedule and I save and I close. I have the same kind of intelligent agent set up for low score on a quiz. So if we take a look, you'll notice that the subject is low score on a quiz. And if a student gets less than a 69 on the specific quiz, they get an email that says, hi, initiating user first name, you earned this low score, please be sure to review the remediation content module. And I save it and I close. And now if a student gets that score on that specific quiz, they receive the email. A way to test these intelligent agents, once you set them up, is to click the arrow next to it and do a practice run. You run it, and you should receive an email. Right away after I tested that agent, I got this email. So if we blow it up a little bit bigger, that agent has finished running and that means that it is indeed working. If you don't get an email as soon as you test it, reach out to your TLT representative and someone will check it out for you.